Lexi interviews Kyle O'Reilly, who starts to plug the main event, but Roddy and the Kingdom interrupt. Interrupt. They offer support and advice because Roddy, of course, has beaten Orange twice, and he closes with, just remember what you told me when you first came back. Okay. Am I out of my fucking mind? Mm-hmm. Am I out of my mind here? Mm-hmm. Did I not see the kingdom? They, they did this exact same thing months ago. It was like, they're trying to recruit Kyle. Kyle says, I, I want to do this on my own. They're trying to recruit Kyle. Kyle says, I want to do this on my own. Was I not there? Did I not see with my own two eyes when they turned on him and they beat the living shit out of him? They beat the fuck out of him to lead to Kyle and Roddy at the pay-per-view? They, I saw that angle with my own eyes. Now, yes, yes, you did. it's like they just rewound and they're trying to recruit him again. And, you know, it's one thing, but when they try to recruit him this time, his his exact words were, I appreciate your support. <laughs> like, the support when they beat the fuck out of you? Am I missing something? Did, did I not see that? I'm pretty sure the announcers even mentioned it later. Usually it was like something that I didn't see that happened, but this was what I did see that, like, we've gone backwards in time. Yeah, they're gaslighting you, yes. That was weird. Yeah. Also, Roddy's last line was, remember what you told me when you first came back? I thought, what the fuck did he tell him when he first came back? I and think it's supposed to be a secret. And the announcer said, what the fuck did he tell him when he first came back? Yeah, it's a secret. <laughs> Chris Statlander versus Robin Renegade. I knew who was going to win here. And they did not waste my time. Stat yeah, that's good. Beat her up, hit a power bomb, create a tombstone, and won. Yes. And Stokely puts Stat her over. I was going to say, Stat had new entrance, new gear. New music. Yep, everything new when you repackage Everything new when you do it when you do a turn. Yep. Uh, this is our first match I think on AEW TV this year. Really? Maybe it's, maybe it's that first match on Collision, but yeah, she's she's been just in the corner the entire time. Wow. So Stokely puts her over, wishes he was as fast and as strong as her. She's gonna be the first woman to win the TBS title, the women's title. She's the first entrant in the Owen Hart tournament. She'll win that. Go to Wembley, beat whoever's champ. Hey, who knows? She might. Doubt it. Willow arrives late. She asks, uh, Lexi asks Willow about Statlander. And Willow says, the last year's winner, it's only fair to announce. I had two of them entering the tournament. Stat, I hope to see you there. I'm here tonight to keep an eye on the action. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if she's late. She wasn't booked. Well, that's fine, but I'm here tonight to keep an eye on the action. Well, you should have been here on time. You missed two matches. Well, she knew what the main event... Including your enemy. No, she's making it very clear she was keeping an eye on the main event. I see. Yes. She didn't need to be here for... What do we have? You've already forgotten that. <laughs> FTR versus Clunk and Wheeler. <laughs> what the fuck you need to be there for that for? Dustin Rhodes versus Johnny TV. He had a professional wrestling match. There was some clunkiness. They overcame it, of course. Taya interfered, put Johnny's foot on the ropes in a pin, so Dustin got in her face. And uh, she threw a slap, but the ref caught her, so she was ejected. Johnny did some stuff, misses Starship Pain, but Dustin wins and Dustin wins with a spinning suplex. A professional wrestling match. Actually, the the notable thing is that this Dustin's fifty five or whatever he is right now, and uh, yeah. not only does he he work a, a fairly modern style, like he's an old school guy who will do destroyers, but uh, he's always every now and then there's like a new move. I've never seen him do a shining wizard. He did a shining wizard in this match to set up the finish. You ever seen uh, that? I don't recall. No. Well, uh, Johnny threw three of them before that, so I think he was just answering the call. Well, D Johnny was just throwing knees. He was just throwing knees to the head. This was like a legitimate uh, running, shining wizard. Also, uh, Taya, Taya looks like a, uh, a a cartoon villain from the G.I. Joe comic book series or cartoon series. Sort of, actually. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. And this fucking guy. Hmm. He cut the best promo in ages. He's so great. It started with, oh, God, I'm getting old. <laughs> and he said, it's not often I stand here with a mic. I got two things to talk to you about tonight. 37 years you guys have not abandoned me. Thank you for accepting me, showing up, turning on your TV sets. You know he's old when he says TV sets. I appreciate and love you all. I want to thank everybody, production crew, Tony Khan. Most importantly, he says, right now, I want to thank these cameramen, which was interesting because the cameramen were all over the show on Wednesday. Jericho was trying to teach him how to scoop chicken, cutlets or whatever. Chicken and dumplings. And he says, I want to talk about Jack Perry. When you came back, we were happy to see you. What did you do? You attacked my boss, the guy who pays us our paychecks, the man who gave you a second chance. You disgust me. 
You join with the elite? Jesus, man, he says. You disgust me, Jack Perry. Been hearing you talk about sacrifice, and he gives his own hard times promo. You were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You never worked a day in your goddamn life. Sacrifice, he says, is losing your job. They hand you your watch. Tell you a computer got your job. Then you get two jobs to make ends meet. The money is even less. That's sacrifice. I sacrificed for my family for 37 years. Actually, he was wrestling for 37 years. That's what he said the Jack's done where he never worked a day in his life. I don't know. Called him a spoiled brat. He said, you're a follower. If, you f- if you're a follower, the view never changes. They're having a match on Dynamite. A qualifier for the ladder match. And he says, you can't beat me fair and square. I'll make my whole career on that. And this Wednesday, you'll never forget my name. The Natural Dustin Rhodes. I was like, God damn. This show was great in the sense that they got matches coming up. And they announced them. And they did promos for them. Yeah. And they did video packages for them. Yeah. Excellent. This is my kind of storytelling. Yes. You fucking suck. I'm going to kick your ass. Yes. That is all the story I need. And here's why. Sure. But uh, I think my favorite moment was when he talked about Jack Perry coming back. You disgust me, Jack Perry. You joined with the elite. Jesus! (laughs) You ain't sacrificed shit! A Zack Sabre Jr. video package plugging the naughty door. Which probably means Forbidden Door, nothing else. He has unfinished business, and they show a uh, Forbidden Door from a year or two ago where he failed to beat Orange Cassidy in a four-way. Orange pinned somebody else. So he calls out Orange Bollocks. I guess that's a Forbidden Door match. So no Zack Sabre Jr. versus Kyle O'Reilly. That's a bummer. Should have called him Bollocks Cassidy. Yeah, right. I'll allow it. The Premier Athletes versus Trent, Jordan, and Dante Neal. Or as, quick. or as the announcers later claimed, Trip, Jordy, and Dante Leon. Well, I don't fucking know. All I know is they did this uh, video package for the Premier Athletes, mostly highlighting Josh Woods and all his wrestling titles and accomplishments. <laughs> right. And uh, they mentioned Tony Nese, too. And, like, Daivari was there, but I thought he was their manager. And they no, come out he's, here. He's a wrestler. Smart Mark Sterling is the manager. Daivari's wrestling with Nice. Where did Josh Woods go? Hmm. It really came up later in the show. They kill these geeks. Nice one with a Rikishi driver. A Scorpio Sky promo. Do you realize the first time he did this was four weeks ago? Yeah. And absolutely, like he disappeared for three weeks, and now they just started over again. Yeah. Where is this guy? I don't know. All of our heroes have fallen. Now is the time for us to come together. He will be our hero, our voice, our champion. He's here for us. He does a big fake smile and makes a mean, stern face. I I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Tony Storm versus Lady Frost. They had, on the whole, pretty good match, probably the most heat of anything on the show, and for the most part, it was a a high-action, kind of modern-day, indie-style match. There's a point, a minute in, where, like, they're running the ropes... And Lady Frost throws in the brakes and holds up her hands and screams, Freeze! Like she's actually a comic book supervillain. Right. But she does it to Tony Storm, who loves being told to freeze, and she turns and poses with the camera and it goes all black and white. That was straight out of Chikara. That was very wacky. Very, very wacky. Then they just kept on wrestling. And uh, they go back and forth. It's very frenetic and intense. Tony Storm did a neck-hanging tree bomb for two. The most painful move to take in the world. And uh, uh, Lady Frost did her cartwheel, like it's a cartwheel into a pile driver, whatever she did at one time. Tried it later. Tony blocked it at Storm Zero and won. This is good. Where does uh, Lady Frost uh, wrestle? Is she local? No, she's on AEW regularly. She's on Ring of Honor a lot. She's not signed with AEW. Though. Oh, sure she is. She's on all the time, dude. Really? Yeah. <laughs> huh. This was... She's wrestled for DPW. She was on Rampage uh, last month. She never wins. No. She won a Ring of Honor. She wrestled for GCW. She was a blood sport. That's oh. right. Okay. Uh, she fought Thunder Rose on Collision in March. She got about once a month. She was in an AEW match. Well, she's not on all the time then. <laughs> no one is. Yeah, I was going to say. It's one of the things about AEW. <laughs> we fucking just talked about it. Scorpio Sky. It's one promo segment every four weeks. I haven't seen Scorpio Sky wrestle in years, it seems like. 
he got hurt. He, yeah, he, well, I understand that. Yeah, but no, you you're not. Lady Frost see, is not hurt. You no, Lady Frost is not hurt, but she's wrestled several times this year. All right. All right. <laughs> Tony interviews Tony Storm. I should say, interviews Mariah May. I really, really, what they did here. Now, sitting on the apron, Tony's interviewing her. Announces that in a few weeks I'll be facing your friend and former partner, and that must be awkward for you. I love you so much, he says. I'm so proud of you. I never had anyone looking out for me, so I'm going to look out for you. As AEW Women's Champion, I am demanding that you be entered into the Owen Hart Tournament. Mm. Mm. And everyone's happy. Mariah's happy. You guys trust her? Come on. Don't be marks. Mm. I don't know, man. Mariah's trying to bring the two together, it seems like, but uh, she's got an ulterior She's trying to hang out with her friend. Uh, you, guys, you watch Rampage? Here's what happened on Rampage. Yeah, we just Mina was... won. Yeah, right. And then mm-hmm. and then Mariah came out to celebrate with her friend. Mm-hmm. She was happy for her to win. Sure. Tony comes out and is so angry. She's mad. How well, she dare jumps. you have a friend? She and Mariah's like, dude, come on out, come join the fun. And Tony storms oh. down to the ring with the mean face, and she's all angry. She's mm-hmm. the baby face. How? Not to mention, uh, the announcers talked about that. They're telling me that Tony is mad at Mina because Mina wants her title. Even though Tony challenged Mina. So you're telling me that what happened was, Tony said, Mina, I want to challenge you to a match. I will put my title on the line. And Mina said, okay. So it says, well, fuck you. You want my belt? That's a baby face? That's shit I do. I'm a baby face? Come on. I, I I just think I think Mariah is uh, done with Tony's crap, and she's uh, she's got a friend, and uh, they're gonna put the screws to Tony. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.